Hi there. Welcome everyone to the webinar today. I am uh, Chintan Thakkar, the founder at a company called Saras, and uh, we build the Enroute Ingress Controller API Gateway. In this talk, uh, we'll go over how to have end-to-end -end encryption using the Enroute Ingress Controller and the Linkerd Service Mesh. So this is sort of a workshop. You can follow through it and uh, even go through the steps while you achieve the same things that we do in this webinar. If you have questions, uh, feel free to join the Slack channel or if you want to try out the enterprise features for uh, the Enroute controller, uh, you can drop us a note using the form on the website. This is about me. Um, you can also follow us on Twitter. Uh, we also have uh, an open source version of our software apart from a community and enterprise version. To check out the open source, uh, you can use this address on GitHub. Um, at the high level, uh, we are going to talk about uh, the cloud native solution, uh, figure out the different components involved. Uh, to take a high level view of uh, where the solution fits, what are the different components. So uh, at a high level, the application networking and security involves the container networking interface. These are, uh, these are softwares like uh, Cilium, uh, Cilium or uh, Calico or Flannel, which essentially provides the network plumbing between the pods. Uh, that's the container network interface. Uh, then there is uh, how does your traffic enter the cluster? That's where the ingress controller comes in. Uh, one example of that is the Enroute one step. Uh, and then uh, we have uh, service meshes like Linkerd and Istio, which uh, essentially help with uh, not only traffic management, but MTLS uh, observability and a lot of uh, operational concerns are met. So we'll quickly talk about all these things and then uh, finally we'll go over a demo. So this is a graphical representation uh, of uh, the major components in uh, Kubernetes application delivery and security. So uh, of course you have the cluster uh, and you have the CNI. The CNI wires up all the pods and the services, uh, performs the network plumbing and a lot of times uh, they also do uh, security functions like network segmentation at layer three. Uh, of course, you have the service mesh inside the cluster, uh, which performs MTLS uh, and traffic management. And uh, the ingress controller is essentially the piece how your traffic gets inside the cluster. So Enroute one step is an ingress controller API gateway. Um, it is built on Envoy proxy and essentially helps out with uh, north-south traffic security and management. Uh, it's extremely simple. Uh, typically, um, the policy and connectivity that you want to specify for a service can be done using one step. That's the idea behind it. And uh, it's declarative, so you can uh, just declare the things you want, uh, execute one command, and uh, it'll provide the necessary uh, policy. And uh, Android One Step is completely Kubernetes native. Uh, it runs as a container, and uh, it, it can be used to run as an ingress controller service. Uh, how is it different? Um, it is built on Envoy Proxy, of course. Uh, it's again, uh, Envoy Proxy is a CNCF graduated project. Um, it works for both Kubernetes and non-Kubernetes. Um, Enroute uh, also can function as a shim outside of Kubernetes uh, when you run it in standalone mode. Uh, say for instance, in a Docker container, if you just wanted to run Enroute and Envoy, uh, you get simple uh, REST or GraphQL based APIs to configure um, Enroute. Um, it is, uh, Purely declarative, there is no YAML involved when you're setting it up. Uh, you can just select a set of uh, service and L7 policies, uh, specify those policies, run one command, and it's all good to go. You can then tweak it uh, by editing different config objects and then uh, you know tune it more to your needs. 
There are three versions, of course. Uh, the OS as the community and enterprise, and uh, you can check out the complete list of features at getonroot.io slash features. Uh, Linkerd is again a CNCF graduated project. It's a service mesh ultra lightweight and uh, it's an extremely popular service mesh uh, which has over 200 contributors and I think if I'm not wrong over 10k stars. Um, why do we need a service mesh and uh, why end-to-end -end encryption? Uh, so with uh, microservices the uh, surface area for attack increases. Um, to establish, uh, you know, like a secure environment to run your microservices. Uh, there is the zero trust paradigm, which says never trust, always verify. So you essentially verify every single request coming inside your cluster. And uh, when the services talk to each other, they also verify every request. And the verification comes in forms of authentication and authorization. So. Of course, uh, you need your uh, identity set up for each of the workloads that uh, you can use to perform uh, the enforcement. So the zero trust principles for traffic entering the cluster can be, um, can be essentially done at the ingress. Uh, this is where Enroute comes in. And enforcing zero trust principles inside the cluster would be a component like a service mesh, uh, which performs um, some auth C auth M for inter-service communication or the east-west traffic. So this pictorially represents uh, how um, the end-to-end -end encryption looks like. So of course, when the traffic enters the cluster, you have TLS from the user to en route. This is the downstream leg. And then once the traffic hits the ingress controller, uh, it's all encrypted. Uh, as it is meshed with uh, MTLS. Um, this example specifically talks about Linkerd um, and Enroute. So uh, now that was just a quick overview. Uh, we'll go over uh, uh, a quick demo um, and uh, this involves installing the Linkerd service mesh. Uh, we have a Kubernetes cluster. Uh, there is uh, Linkerd installed on top of it. There is an example workload in form of emoji voto. Uh, that's an example workload. And then we'll um, mesh that example workload um, in the uh, Linkerd mesh. So essentially insert a proxy with the workload. So, and then um, the other aspect is uh, we'll install Enroute. Uh, we'll mesh Enroute with Linkerd. Uh, we'll externally expose uh, the application uh, to the client and then we'll secure that communication using a certificate, an ACME certificate that will generate a uh, sign and install in one step again. So that's a high level introduction about uh, Enroute one step uh, and uh, Linkerd and uh, what we'll be covering in the demo. So, so the demo steps are also uh, present on the uh, website. There is a high level article that talks about it. So you can just nav navigate to the website and uh, in the blog section, you can go to end-to-end -end encryption using Enroute and Linkerd. And uh, that will essentially walk you through the same things. So we have a cluster right now. Uh, so let's just quickly check that right so we have a cluster and uh, we also have linkerd installed so that's uh, linkerd installation so we have also connected to the uh, buoyant cloud buoyant uh, is the company that created linkerd so we are also connected to the cloud just to verify the mtls so right now here is the connection and we can see that there's one active cluster with a couple of nodes. There's a few workloads, right? Um, so we'll use this to verify our MTLS. So moving ahead, uh, let's go ahead and install uh, the emoji voto workload. So that's the command that installs the workload. And then, uh, of course, we have, I think we have these. So we have um, 
we have the JetStack cert manager which we'll be using to install the ACME cert and we also have the Enroute API gateway um, Helm charts uh, which we'll be using to install Enroute and the service policy essentially how to expose the service how to secure the service so let's just go ahead and uh, install Enroute so here uh, it's going to create an instance of <coughs> Enroute ingress controller API gateway and uh, let's uh, quickly look at that. So it's still getting an external IP. Um, in the meanwhile, uh, let's go ahead and uh, set on route up for uh, running uh, with Linkerd. So uh, when you are integrating an ingress controller with uh, Linkerd, there are a couple of suggested uh, practices. Um, one is um, around adding a header to provide hints to Linkerd. The other one is around uh, delegating uh, the endpoint selection for routing to Linkerd. So um, there is one flag setting in uh, Enroute which takes care of all of this and uh, it can be further customized if you like but essentially there are a couple of requirements when you're trying to run an ingress controller with uh, Linkerd. And uh, with Enroute one step, we have made it extremely simple uh, where you just set one flag and everything just works. So let's just set this one global config and that's it. So that's all you need. And now Enroute is ready to work with uh, Linkerd. Now uh, you can take a look at this more on the website to see uh, what are the other cost customizations available but essentially uh, you already en enabled the linkerd enabled uh, setting to set up the ingress controller and if you want you can disable the header addition and the endpoint delegation endpoint selection delegation uh, you could dis disable any of these if you like but by default uh, it's all enabled now we uh, earlier created the um, emoji Voto workload uh, now we are just going to um, mesh it so just going back to this what we are talking about now is uh, we got a workload set up say emoji Voto workload now we are going to mesh it as in, as in we are going to add the linkerd proxy to it and uh, that's the command to do that so what it does is it adds an annotation to the deployment and uh, that inserts uh, the Linkerd proxy and then we do the same thing for Enroute. So, so what we are doing here is uh, we are in injecting the Linkerd proxy for both the workloads, uh, the emoji voto workload or test workload and uh, the Enroute workload. So now let's, uh, let's quickly look at the cloud and how it looks. Um, Right, so we see that Emoji Voto is now um, seen by the cloud, and then here, here it's here we can see Emoji Voto. Uh, Emoji Voto is meshed, and we also see that Enroute is meshed. Uh, the dark circle here with a, a solid dot in there uh, shows that it is meshed. We can also verify this by looking at the pods. Uh, I think there's a command here. Yeah, so, so here what we see is uh, we have uh, the, um, we have the um, Enroute pod, uh, which is running the Enroute image and Redis and of course uh, Envoy proxy but at the same time it is running uh, the Linkerd proxy as well in the same pod. So what it is showing is that uh, we have uh, successfully meshed uh, the Enroute pod. So now let's uh, quickly look at uh,
yeah we now have external ip so what i'm going to do for this demo is uh, create a dns entry for this um, external ip and uh, let's call it uh, group linker d mesh to demo and then we're just going to set it to the external ip right and then let's just quickly ping this and see if it is set up wait for some time to set let it set up but uh, in the meanwhile let's go ahead and uh, expose this service externally so the way to do that is uh, just uh, use one command from the chart and uh, what we are doing here is uh, we are saying program the ingress in such a way that I can talk to the emoji voter service over that DNS name and uh, we are specifying a couple of properties about the service what's the name of the service uh, what prefix to reach it on uh, what port the service is accessible on so let's just go ahead and run that command so so this shows me that uh, uh, the service, uh, the ingress is uh, getting programmed and it right now installed a couple of filters which I can quickly look at if I like. So that tells me that, oh, I have a Lua filter set up which uh, is going to add a Lua filter says hello header. And then uh, there is also the rate limit, layer seven rate limits uh, set up, which, which again, you can take a look at over here. So you're saying for uh, the HTTP protocol uh, limited to five requests per second. So this all got set up uh, automatically. Let's ping the domain name. And now let's try to call it. Right, so we are able to see a 200 and of course uh, we are also able to see the Lua filter says hello. Let's try and navigate to the service from the UI. So here we are. So let's just and then let's look at the uh, Let's look at the workloads and we see that Anurud is meshed, right? And then uh, we, let's look at the topology. So now this shows me that Anurud is meshed and uh, we are able to pass traffic to Anurud and it is mtls to the web service and the uh, other aspects. Uh, since we had uh, meshed the emoji voto workload and that also shows up here and now let's just go ahead and add an ssl cert um, we have the uh, we have the um, on root uh, set up and let's just install the certificate on it so here we just change the name and uh, everything else is the same and we enable TLS to true we set up our email to a valid email for us and then let's go ahead and request a certificate uh, using Yakme from let's encrypt Then again, uh, this will go ahead and uh, talk to the ACME server to get a certificate, verify a certificate, and then the certificate will get installed um, on the app. So let's quickly look at what's going on with the cert. So it is not ready yet. There you are, it's ready. So let's go ahead and uh, Fire a curl request. 
and uh, we're able to see that there is end to end TLS here and uh, we see the TLS handshake and we see that uh, the CN is set to the domain name that we specified and uh, let's look at the cloud and see so I think uh, here you can look at this and go let's look at application TLS and linker TLS and there you are the application TLS showed up that's the linker TLS so going back to uh, this uh, the cert that we installed that covered the TLS from the user to root and we were able to mesh on root and the emoji voter workload which was the mesh mtls aspect so that's how we achieved the end-to-end -end encryption uh, using uh, the linkerd service mesh and on root so that concludes the demo uh, if you have questions uh, feel free to drop us a note uh, through the website and uh, thank you for joining us have a great day bye